This is Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown is a 15-2 buckskin gelding. He has one back boot other than that. He's all buckskin with the black points. He has got the kindest, prettiest brown eyes. We have actually borrowed Pickles, if you remember Pickles. We have borrowed him for the day. He still likes to come over and ride some. He does have just a little bit of white there on his face. Just a little. Hi, buddy. He is friendly. He's a little looky-loo when you first get on him and first get him out. Um, almost acts like he's got some standard bread in him or some saddle bread in him, but I can't tell you for sure he does or he doesn't because he's not registered. But we have put about 150 pounds on this horse and he could use about 100 more, but he is looking so much better. We're going to go ahead and do his video today. So we're going to let Gage climb up on him and show you how this guy does. I'm going to tell you straight up, he is not for a complete beginner. And that is only because he does have a little bit of energy. He's not a complete and total deadhead. So, but he is broke. He is smart. And he can rack a hole in the ground. I have told them all, I do not want to ride this horse because a racking horse is my favorite. And I really like one that can cover some ground. So I don't even want to ride him. He does hold his tail to the side. And, which is kind of fancy, kind of showy looking. And he's always kind of looky-loo, but he doesn't really do anything. He's just always looky. All right, we're going to take him and let you see all the pretty fancy stuff he does that makes you want to buy a horse. All right, here comes Charlie Brown down the driveway. He definitely has a presence about him. He will ride alone all day long. He does not need a friend, but he will also ride in a group. Wait till you see this guy go. We'll do it slower and we'll do it faster. Cue the music. Guys, he is smooth, smooth, smooth. Now we're going to do it again with a little speed. Now we're going to call on him a little bit. Single-handed necker. Here goes Charlie Brown into the first creek. Dogs in tow. Jumping in the weeds. That always helps. There is water in there. And let me tell you, they cannot see where that trail is. It's so deep right now. We're about to cut this for hay. So I tell you, this one messes with her depth perception. It's really messing with his depth perception right now. This horse is broke to death. I emphasize again, if you're a beginner, no. Novice to experienced rider will love this horse. Because he knows exactly what his job is to do. All right, we're going to head to the second creek. Take him on.
Here goes Charlie Brown into the second creek. So he walks, he racks, he racks 10 miles per hour, and guess what? He canters. Whoever had this horse was probably a lot like my dad. They were all business. They didn't do a lot of goofing around and playing around. They didn't feed him treats out of their hand. They didn't do a lot of loving and petting on this horse. He had a job to do. Now, he does like scratches and petting, but he does not at all go looking for it. And right back down into his rack. And stops looking at the barn. Very, very nice. We're going to go do some road traffic. That's Miss Ann. Dan Palmer's house. The neighbor. Alright, just so you can see that you can road ride this horse and you can road ride him by yourself. got Charlie Brown carrying the patriotic American flag. Election year. We are not going to discuss politics, but it is an election year and a lot going on. As of today, Joe Biden just dropped out yesterday. Democratic Party is in upheaval. 
Trump just got shot? There is a lot going on. I don't think there's ever been this much going on in election year in my 40, 40, what am I talking about? I'll be 51 next month. Do y'all ever have to do the math? Sit there and go, okay, I was born in 1973, so how old does that make me? I have to do the math. This guy's gonna be just, oh, it's just amazing. How pretty is that? And how smooth is he? Oh my goodness. He says, but I'll ride with it. <laughs> but I, don't, I like it, but I don't love it. What a good boy. You like it up here? You don't mind it anywhere. And it can even be out here. Let it go, boy. All right, we're going to do a little shooting. Watch the hobby, I don't want any gun. All right, I will show you what's happening here. So, we have got the newest member of the G&G &G family. And then... We have got Charlie Brown. Fire away, coaches. So, Bryce shoots, and Charlie Brown just flinches in place, which, you know, you expect that. Out of bullets. So I believe you could shoot off this horse. Now, no, is he going to stand bone, bone, bone steel? No. But for field trialing, yeah. Try it, pickles. Rest it on its forehead. Rest it on his forehead. <laughs> All right, here's Charlie Brown giving feet. I know, I just keep missing because your feet so slippery. By the way, he stands great for the farrier. Meets you right at the gate to catch him, which is kind of shocking because he's not an overly friendly horse. Like, he likes for you to scratch his head. He really does. But he doesn't go looking for petting and loving. And for whatever reason, um, he actually greets you right at the gate. That one white boot. All right. Good boy. All right, we're going to load him in and out of the trailer. All right, here goes Charlie Brown onto the trailer. He says, I've had a long day. I will tell you, he came from the Amish, and he had not been on a trailer very many times. But he was doing so good with trailer loading and unloading. What a good boy. So that's Charlie Brown, 15-2. He is a buckskin gelding. He is grayed, but he could be registered racking if you wanted to register him. He does stretch out. He was Amish, raised, and broke. And this guy is $7,500 here at G&G Flatshot Farms in Hardin, Kentucky. That is www.ggflatshodfarms.com. You have to, yeah, well, his buttons are you pull at the um, lead rope forward. And um, back him up until he's square, and then he then he stretches forward. So, very 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 nice gilding.